This is a, a quick tutorial on how to set up Process Lasso by Bitsum um, to, to ensure that all of your games run at the highest priority when they're turned on and then turning the computer back to its normal priority when you finish gaming. I'm not associated with Bitsum at all. I'm a private user or a private customer. Um, and I must admit, over the last month, I have got to know their support people rather well. So let's have a quick look through here. Now, you have to think of uh, Process Lasso as sort of like uh, the task manager on an overdose of steroids. Because everything that you can do here, you could try and do manually in the task manager, but it would drive you absolutely crazy. And you'd have to keep doing it over and over again. This way, uh, once I'm set up, I'm set up. So the first thing to have a quick look at here is under main. If you're a brand new customer, look under main. You should see here that pro balance is enabled. Smart trim is enabled. This is sort of like a memory manager. And idle saver is enabled. This will then turn uh, the default of balanced, which is what I've got set. That will now turn it to a much lower setting like a power saver. Uh, because when the system's idle, it can just be on tick over. Who cares? Now to get to the important part. Under uh, options, there are a number of things that you can do here. And this can get horribly confusing really quickly. Um, but the one we're interested in is power. So let's go into power. And there's a number of things that you can set here. So for instance, under power performance mode, which is the one we're most interested in, I can come along here and I can go into performance mode and I can select a power profile to use with everything that I associate to this particular uh, subject. If we have a quick look in select power profile first, you'll notice that I'm using the Bitsum highest performance because obviously when you're running a game, you literally want the game to take the computer over. You don't want anything else to get in its way. So we'll say OK to that, and now we'll get to the most important part, Options, Power, Performance Mode, Performance Mode Processes. So I click here, and we now bring up this little dialog box, and you'll notice that I have a lot of uh, executables and directories that I'm saying that I want to have turned into the highest priority power whenever I'm using them. You can notice here I'm, a, I'm also a photographer. <laughs> and, a, and a web designer. But the important one that we want to look at is this one right here, which, of course, is good old Steam. Now, this should work for any other um, directories that contain multiple games. Um, you, you do have to double check stuff as you go along, but that's OK. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit remove. So I'm going to take him off, and I'm going to show you how I set that up. The other important thing to do is never, ever hit the clear button unless you want the whole list to vanish on you, as I discovered. Because I hit clear rather than remove once, and uh, my list sort of got rather trimmed down. OK, so how do I actually add a process? Well, up here, you can see process match and a couple of lines. So let's go into here. First thing we want to do is we want to drop down. I have Steam loaded on its own separate disk. So I've got my S disk is Steam. You'll notice here that uh, there's a list of things in here as normal, list of directories. The one we're interested in is the program files x86. So if I click on that, there's Steam. Click on that. What's important is you do not want to add this particular directory into higher priority for the power profile. Reason being, is that Steam is running all of the time. So if you have Steam turned on, it means that it would just stay in the, in the, uh, the highest power setting possible, which is not what you want. So we have to go to where they hide the games. And uh, they, that is in this directory called Steam Apps. So we double click on Steam Apps. And uh, what we've got here is a list of uh, different directories. And the one we want is common, but I don't actually have to go down into the common. Now, here's the quirk of the program. If I hit open, nothing happens. 
And I think this is a bit of a bug, which I have talked to them about. But if I just click in the box, make sure that's totally highlighted, do a control C, cancel, come back to processes to match, do a control V. Now, if I do a backslash wildcard and add, you'll notice that it's now added this line right back into this list. So there it is. And there's what we're interested in. So I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to quickly bring up a game just to show you what happens. So I'm going to bring up a good old Black Mesa, which uh, is probably one of the best uh, rewrites of a game ever, ever accomplished in uh, the history of gaming. And I love this game. I'm halfway through Zen at the moment. And boy, oh boy, that can get a little bit nasty. So here we are. Now, if I move this, up, you'll notice that down here, the last line in the log file is per request, default power plan is now bit some highest performance, which is exactly what I expected it to be. If you keep an eye on down here and I hit quit, you'll notice now that it's immediately, as soon as the game has quitted, it has now gone back to our absolutely normal balanced so we now know that uh, the game turned on the highest power performance run the game as soon as i exit the game the system goes back to exactly how i had originally set it up which is exactly one what we want to look for now you might be thinking this would be rather good to do with program files as well uh no that would be the worst thing that you can do and i'll show you why if we go back into options, power, performance mode, if we now add, and let's go, uh, let's go to the C drive, and let's go to program files, click that. I could have just typed this in, of course, but uh, I'm lazy. Hit cancel, come up here, add that into paste, and again, backslash, wildcard add I've now added program files here if I now say OK you'll notice that the highest performance has immediately turned itself on and the reason for that is unfortunately a lot of the programs that go into program files um, they run stuff in background uh, a good example of that is I use Norton 360 it has a background process, and uh, that background process has now turned this on, which is really not what I wanted. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back into options, go back into power, go back into uh, the mode processes. There's program files. Come along here, hit remove, say OK, and now things will go right back to as they were. This explains to you why I have got a so many items in that particular list also it's fair to say you probably do not want everything in program files anyway um, to be running in the highest power setting um, that would be a little bit of a waste uh, also um, this keeps things nice and simple the chances are you've only got you know a handful of programs that you actually do want to use uh, like this in the highest uh, settings so that's the easy way of setting up Steam. Um, fortunately, Steam does not do this. Just make sure that Steam is not one of the processes that uh, you have accidentally selected. Uh, oh, one thing I should show you also under here is if we go back into Power, you can see here Start Process Lasso with Power Profile, and here you select the Power Profile that you want when uh, the program fires up and starts running. So that's the important bit. And down here, you also have idle saver. An idle saver, what that will do is that when the PC has been idle for five minutes, it will immediately change over to this particular power profile. Um, it's pretty, pretty darn clever the way this thing works. It really is. Anyway, if you've got any questions, uh, don't be afraid to uh, ask away. Um, this all seems to work okay. Um, I spent this morning uh, setting it all up, and uh, I tried it all out. 
everything seems to work correctly. My games all come up and immediately go into the best uh, power, highest performance, and uh, everything runs smoothly. And uh, if you have games that are stuttering a little bit, the chances are this will solve that particular issue. So I hope you found this useful. I'm Nigel Aves, your host, signing off for now. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you have a look at a few of my uh, video interviews. Okay, everybody, you take care for now and uh, stay safe out there. Bye.